Hey guys, so we're entering the difficult questions for the Data Lemur SQL series. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. These questions are starting to look more like my typical day to day. When we get tickets, these are the queries we use to answer some of those tickets. Uh, the functions are more complex and you don't really use them that often. So please don't feel bad if you don't know the functions by memory. I like to Google stuff like that when I am confused or lost. Uh, essentially, if you understand the logic and what you're supposed to do, everything else is fine. You can gather stuff from Stack Overflow or other websites that help you with your queries. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right to the video. All right, the first question we're gonna do is the median Google search frequency question. So this is a question from Google, and they basically want us to query the median amount of searches an individual makes from their two trillion library or database. So they want us to round the median to one decimal point two. So our final output is just one column, one row. Great, let's start by querying the table. Okay, so here it shows us the searches and the number of users. So uh, two users have done one search, one user has done four searches, and then two has done two, got it. So what you want is to expand this out instead of bucketing them. So uh, what we can do is do a generate series function that allows us to uh, expand this out. So instead of just uh, one row for each uh, search bucket, it'll expand to the number of users who uh, utilize that search number. So uh, what the function is called is generate series, and we want one and number of users. And we can call this as uh, instances or occurrences. Great, so I uh, hope this gives you more clarity to what this function does. It has spread out the uh, searches to expand to the number of users who have done that search. Here we have two rows for one searches, and then one row for four searches, two rows for two searches, three rows for three searches. Uh, let's sort this so that we can uh, get it in ascending order. Searches. Cool. So to find the median, you basically want the middle point, and I believe there is 14 rows here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's 14, and you want the middle, which is the seventh row. So it's between 3 and 4. And obviously, if you take the sum of 3 and 4 and divide that by 2, you get 3 and a half. So we want to do that basically with uh, SQL. And to do that, we have to use a CTE. And what I'm going to do is call this CTE and then so what you're gonna have to do is uh, use the percentile count function, uh, which basically gives us the median, and uh, you want it in one decimal place. So you got it to you got to use the round function. Percentile count, and then within group, uh, we want to order by searches, and then this just make, makes it. Uh, so this just makes this from an integer to a float and one decimal point. And then we can call this median. And that should be it. Great, so we have the answer three and a half. Let's see if this is correct. Great, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, like I said before, these are the type of queries that I use typically in my day-to-day -day as a data analyst. Again, don't worry too much if you don't remember the functions by heart. As long as you understand the logic and what you're supposed to do, you can always Google the function name later on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.